Hi students, myself MVK, postgraduate from NIT Varangal. I will explain you differences between configurational isomers and conformational isomers, which is a very regular doubt, uh, regular confusion among the students. Okay, so first. Uh, to differentiate between these two isomers, first let us see the classification of isomers. Isomers are of two types. Structural and stereo. Structural isomers also called skeletal isomers. Or constitutional isomers. These are the isomers which differ in uh, structure. That is a uh, order of atoms or difference in bonding pattern uh, of atoms whereas in stereo isomers atoms bonding pattern is same but they are oriented in space towards different directions that they will be existing in different uh, three dimensional structures so they are all stereo isomers stereo isomers are again of two types our configurational isomers and conformational isomers. Now coming to configurational isomers. The stereo isomers which cannot be interconverted into one another are configurational isomers. That means uh, this cannot be converted into one another one cannot be converted into another one exchange will not be possible between the two isomers at room temperature such a type of stereo isomers are called configurational isomers which cannot be interconverted at room temperature therefore these are true isomers and they can be separated isolated or separated and what will be the examples of this one configurational isomers like your geometrical isomers and optical isomers now coming to conformational isomers Conformational isomers are such stereo isomers which can be, can be, cannot be, which can be converted into one another at room temperature just by single bond rotations form also at some time therefore uh, these are not the true isomers
and these cannot be separated or isolated. Isolated. And you know the examples of conformational isomers like staggered, and staggered forms of ethane, butane, then uh, chair, boat, half chair, twist boat, forms of chair uh, forms of cyclohexane hope you have understood the differences between configurational and conformational isomers thank you